Hi Taurus, this is your August 2019 love and relationship reading. So the first message card that I have for you, Taurus, is discontent and boredom. So some of you may be bored in a relationship that you're in, but even if you're just bored in this relationship, I don't feel that that's all there is to the situation here. I feel like some of you are waiting or wanting to be with someone so you're not in a really good mood um you're just bored in your love life right now or just waiting on this person because you may feel like this is the only person that you want to be with you don't want to look at anybody else you don't want to talk to anybody else you're just i'm feeling like some of you are waiting on someone specific okay with the discontent and boredom you also have suffering and silence and obstacles and challenges so i'm feeling like it is a challenge or an obstacle to get to be with this person or to get to this person they could live um far away from you or this could be an internet relationship where you don't really see this person that much or at all maybe this is skype or um, some type of video message and that's the only way you have to contact with this person but also with the suffering and silence card, I'm feeling like you guys may be going through something or there's just you and this person is apart right now. So you're apart from someone that you're wanting to be with and you're suffering in silence. I feel like you're not talking to them. They're not talking to you. For some of you, um, an argument erupted here, but for others, it's not an argument. I feel like there was a, a head over heart decision made on someone's behalf here. Either you made this head over heart decision or your partner did someone in your life made this decision um taurus and they're not talking to you right now and you guys are not communicating but i'm feeling like it's not because they don't want to i feel like it's because they're trying to handle something um and whatever it is that they're trying to handle it's really challenging for them it's like they don't know how to deal with it it could be that they're you know that a family is involved here there could be kids involved there could be parents or someone not wanting someone to be together or someone maybe some like somebody could be married here as well all right let's just see um we also have the patience card we have the waiting game oh, i dropped the card one moment so we have patience and we have the waiting game and we have harmony. So I do see in the end that something's going to come, something's going to persevere between the two of you. You're either going to get in contact with each other, you're going to meet up and see each other, but you're going to come together in some way. But for now, you're being asked to be patient in this situation. The universe is telling you to have patience. You know, you may feel like you're playing the waiting game, but it's for a reason. And you'll be able to see that when this is all said and done, when you guys connect with each other again. That's what I'm getting here. All right. So let's get into your reading, Taurus, and let's see what else the universe has to say about your love life. We'll put these over on the side just in case I need to refer back to them for whatever reason. All right. So there were two jumping cards that came out. I'm just going to lower my camera a little bit so that you can see the cards a little better. All right, so the two cards that came out that jumped were the tower. Couldn't even get that out. It was the tower and the death card. So just give me a second because these are two major arcanas, which means there are major shifts, changes, and transformations that are coming with these two cards. The death card is all about transformation and change, something ending, but something starting over again, like all is not dead and gone. And then you have the tower here where something falls apart, but there is a reason behind it. Whatever the situation was, it had to happen this way. Um, you know, whenever you have the tower and it comes into a love and relationship reading, it's because changes are needed. Something is not stable. And when something is not stable, what happens? It falls, okay? That's what happens to something that is not stable. It's going to fall. It's going to crumble. Um, but after it falls, that's the universe way of saying you can either rebuild on a stronger, sturdier foundation or leave things the way they are and walk away. But either way, there will be changes and transformation. Things cannot stay the same. You know, once that tower falls, things have to change. Things are going to change. You like, you don't have a choice here. So I'm feeling like someone, 
it could some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio with the death card being here it doesn't have to be though but for some of you and I'm feeling like someone had to make a head over heart decision to go back to a to their family or something dealing with kids or maybe someone had to leave and go back home to another state or another country but all is not lost so this this is a t I'm feeling like for some of you, this is a test. It doesn't have to be for everyone. It could be for uh, someone specifically, but not, you know, for, for every Taurus out there. But this is a test of to see if you guys can, like, hang in there or be together in distance. I feel like somebody is uh, far away from you, and this is why you can't get to this person. But it's like they had no choice. They had to leave. And like I said, this is not for everyone. This is for some people out there. And then for others, I feel like something fell apart, but it was because someone had to go back to their family or they had a family and they didn't know what decision to make when it came to you and their family. So they had to make that head over heart decision, but I just don't feel like things are over here. I feel like they ended, but it's not over. I feel like you're going to rebuild something with someone here. All right, so let's just get into your reading and see what else comes up here. All right, so you have the Ace of Cups. You have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And you have the Devil. So, mm, um, some of you could be dealing with the Water Sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here as well. Yeah, and Capricorn. Okay, so I feel like you want a new beginning with someone like you want to be with someone like really bad you may have a strong connection with this person Taurus they're really passionate about you you're passionate about them but something's not working out the way you planned it and then for others I feel like you have a connection with someone and there's just a lot of toxic energy in the middle keeping you guys from coming together but I feel like both of you want this but you can't come together and I feel like the reasons why you can't come together is because I feel like there's something on both ends for some of you. Like somebody is with someone and they can't break away from the connection. All right, let's see. So we have the lovers. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. We have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, and we have the Six of Swords in reverse. I feel like some of you would have to travel really far to see this person. They could live on a different coast. Um, and you're clear about what you want here because the Ace of Swords is in the upright. You want to go towards this person because there's a lot of love between the two of you, but something is stopping you. You see all the distance in between here? Um, I feel like a decision was made, but it's not really how the person feels deep down inside. They still love you or you still love them or this could be the both of you. But it's like somebody is far away from you. You can't get to this person. You have the hermit. So some of you, um, oh wait, I'm sorry. Before I move on here, I did say Gemini. Yeah, so some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. And then we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well in this reading with the um, Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords reversed. All right, so we have the hermit card here. We have your card popping up as well. We have the Hierophant. We have the hermit, the Hierophant. And the Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, like somebody got hurt here. Their feelings, they feel betrayed. They feel stabbed in the back. But I feel like this is not over because the Ten of Swords is reversed. So there was an ending. But the reason behind this ending is not clear to you. But I see it here clear as day. It's like somebody is somebody married here. And they had to choose their family over you. Or you had to choose your family over someone, Taurus. But that's not really how you feel deep down inside. It's like you're really confused because this, I feel like this other person you want to be with, but you had to choose your family or maybe someone did this to you. So if this is not you feeling this way, Taurus, this could be your partner cross-watching feeling this way about you. Like they had to choose their family over you, but they really want to be with you. So it's like they turned their back on you and you feel betrayed and stabbed in the back. Um, And you felt like everything you did for this person everything you said to this person was for nothing but it's not though because 
I feel like something's gonna bring you two back together here with this tower and with the death card. Um, this person needs solitude definitely to figure this out though. Somebody needs solitude here to figure out this situation out. Okay, so we have the King of Wands here. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is you popping up in the center. Wow. And the King of Pentacles. So, yeah. All right. So, now I'm starting to see, like, exactly what's going on here. For some of you, wow, I have, like, two different scenarios here. Um. Okay, Tara. So, some of you are dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. And this is the person that you want to be with, but you're with the King of Pentacles. There is a team here. There is a, There is the King and the Queen. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, right? You guys are making things work at home, but this is stable and it's practicality. There's, I don't see any love here. I see Pentacles, which means um, you're paying the bills, you're providing for the kids, you're taking care of the home, but the passion is here with this King of Wands. But I'm feeling like you may be sticking it out with this King of Pentacles, this Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Maybe you've been with this person for quite some time and you're not ready to leave your stability. Maybe this is all about being stable and what you've always known and you're just not willing to give that up right now. But this is where you want to be with this um, this fire sign, this Aries, this Leo, or this Sagittarius. Or this could be vice versa. So you have to apply it however it fits with your situation. But I feel like somebody here is like... You know, like I said, we have the king and the queen of pentacles. So this is like a stable suit here. But then right here, this is someone that you're longing for. You're wanting to be with this person. This person is very passionate, very charismatic, very friendly, very outgoing, very loving. And I feel like you don't, you may not get that here. For some of you, not for all. This is not going to be everybody's story. But like here is where you get the love. But here is where you get the stability. That's crazy. Okay. Um, universe is really speaking through these cards today. But I'm feeling like there, like you need to make a choice. Somebody needs to choose here. And you're not choosing because you don't know who to choose. Because you are you may be thinking to yourself like, okay, well, if I come here and if I choose this situation, is this going to work long term for me? Because this has already, this is long term. But the passion is not there. Maybe the love has fizzled out between you and this king or you and this queen vice versa i mean the cards are not gender based male or female you know place it where you need to place it but somebody is not feeling the love anymore but this is more stable than this is but this is where the heart is and this is where the home is all right so let's let me just move on here um <clears throat> excuse me so we have the five of pentacles we have the three of pentacles. Yes, yeah, something is all about stability here with these pentacles. But then you're missing. Okay, so huh, um, you have the five of pentacles, you have the three of pentacles, and then you have the star card. So your wishes, your hopes, and your dreams is with someone else. But you've all you've always been with this person whatever this is and this is why you're coming back to try and make this work or this is why you're staying or this is why somebody's staying but you feel left out in the cold the person that you're with feel left out in the cold because you're not happy they're not happy your wishes your hopes and your dreams is here some of you could be dealing with an aquarius um but others i see you're dealing with other earth signs a Virgo, Taurus, capricorn And think, you see how, like, it's cold. Things are cold. Things are cold in your house. You guys may not even be talking to each other. Like, there's no love. There's, like, it's just, like I said, practicality. It's just things that are dependable. Things that have to take place. Things that you, you know, you have to take care of the home, the children, the bills. Um, you, you know, you're sort of, like, not really taking care of each other. You see? Oh, this lady this is not funny i'm just not laughing at your situation at all just laughing at the card you see how like the illustration in this card the artwork is like funny as hell only reason why i say that is because this lady is walking beside this man right 
in the cold with no shoes on whatever so she's not holding him up he does have crutches on he do need a, some help he needs some support but she's not really supporting him she's just walking side by side with him because she feels like this is her job this is her duty this could be a wife feeling this way or a husband feeling this way about their partner is like yeah i gotta stand beside you but i'm really not beside you because they look they both look cold frigid unhappy but they're sticking it out with each other they're like grinding it out but they're not happy they'd rather be somewhere else where they're emotionally fulfilled where their dreams are where their wishes hopes and dreams and they're emotionally fulfilled you know where their happiness is which is this, this star card here but I'm feeling like someone is just sticking it out, you know, because this is what they do or this is what they've always done, but they're not happy. Somebody's not happy. Okay, um, let's move on. All right, so we have the Four of Cups here. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, you know what? I'm not even surprised to see all these Pentacles in an Earth reading because you know you guys are about your money, you're about your business, and that comes first before anything else. But I'm feeling like you want love here. You, there's some type of sensitivity and emotional, um, something that's missing in your love life, and someone may be offering their love to you right now, Taurus, and you're back is well only out your back is not turned but you're not receiving it the way they want you to and i'm feeling like because it's a third party involved some of you really want to be with someone else and you can't be with this person right now but someone is offering you a cup and look your the head is his head is turned or her head is turned like um they're not even receiving it well they they're like no i really want to be with this person but i can't be with this situation some of you um, also, I'm feeling like with these three cards, some of you are involved in a third party situation that someone put you in and you're pissed off about that. And it's like you want to offer love to this person with this page of pentacles, but you're not sure how to do it because you're still angry that this person, and this is a different situation, so take it how it resonates. But I feel like for some of you, you want someone and they're in a third party situation but someone that wants you is offering you a cup and you're like no i'm not interested right now right but then there's others that's you know others of you someone put you in a third party situation and you don't it's, it wasn't your fault like you were just thrusted into this situation and you want to offer this person love and maybe they're turning away from you so vice versa however it fits but somebody wants to offer love here you have the page of pentacles right in the middle of the four of cups and the seven of pentacles somebody doesn't know what to do and um if they should even offer any more effort to this situation any more energy any more effort it's like somebody doesn't know like whether they should just put any more time effort and energy into it because i just feel like you're not really feeling it somebody's really not feeling this situation you'd rather be somewhere else all right so we have the two of swords here we have the seven of wands and we have the eight of swords so yeah for some of you i feel like somebody did something to you and pissed you off and now your guard is up with the seven of of seven of wands um fire sign aries leo sagittarius and then we have air libra gemini aquarius um somebody is at a crossroads they're confused you're confused on how to do i feel like you know what also what i'm seeing here in this reading is that um some of you are finding it hard to move past a situation. Someone put you in a third party situation and you're finding it hard to forgive this person and move on because you just don't know with the eight of swords being here, whether this is going to be beneficial for you or not in the long run. It's like you want to forgive this person, but it's something that's allowing you not to be able to move forward it's like you're stuck in your head here with the eight of swords you're thinking the worst you're thinking like okay if i give this person another chance are they really going to be honest this time and truthful can i really trust them you know or am i just going to be hurt all over again so you have your guard up here you're being very protective and then right here with the two of swords 
there's someone else that you're thinking about and you're like okay well if i give this person a chance are they going to be the right person for me or am i going to wind up sort of like in the same situation because you see both of these people have blindfolds on so some yeah you're very protective over yourself because of something that has happened in the past for some of you all right so you have the ten of pentacles here you have the seven of cups and you have the moon card. Yeah, somebody is not telling the whole story. They're so listen, Taurus, you <laughs> you guys reading is the only reading that I've had this month where there was like six stories into one. This is like the tales of the crypt or something. I don't know. Like it's like six different stories coming out in this one 20 minute reading. This is even going past 20 minutes. Um, but that's okay, that's cool. So the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. The Seven of Cups and the Moon card. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. I have water here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And of course, Pentacles is all up and through this reading. But I feel like someone has chosen their family over you. Or you chose your family over someone because you're married or you're just in, in something that long-term and committed and stable. But you're not happy. Because the family card is reversed here. And you're looking at your other options. Like, what options do I have? Like, how can I get out of this? Like, you want out of this. Somebody just wants to run a run here. And they're, you're being secretive about how you're truly feeling. You're not telling anybody. It's like you're keeping it to yourself. You're not even telling the person that you love and care about. Because I feel like you may not even be talking to that person right now. Wanting to but not talking to them, not because you're mad or angry, just because you feel like you can't talk to them right now about the situation. You have the two of wands here. You have the four of swords and you also have the five of wands. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict in your love life right now, Taurus, and you're just trying to figure it all out. You're trying to heal over something that has you down. You're trying to get rest and trying to think about things and see, you know, what is it that you can do to bring yourself up out of this situation. But there's two people here, nonetheless, that you need, somebody needs to make a decision. You got to make a decision because I feel like you're wanting to be with someone passionately because you love this person. You care about them. There's a lot of chemistry. You guys click, but then there's someone else that's, stable and committed and dependable but there may not be that much passion there there may not be that much chemistry between you and this person you have the page of cups reversed you have the eight of wands in the upright and the will reverse so yeah you're waiting to hear from someone you want to hear from someone and i feel like for some of you it's definitely long distance um if not then it's just that some information, some communication or something is going to come to you unexpectedly, like really, really fast. Um, but you still may be stuck because the page of cups is still reversed and the, the will is still reversed as well. So I feel like if it's just that you want to hear from this person, you're going to hear from them. They could even, you know, just text you or let you know that they're, you know, that they're doing good and that they're thinking about you. But I feel like it's something more that you want. Like you want to actually be with this person. I feel like you want to offer love to this person and they want to offer love to you. But you guys cannot be with each other with the will reverse and the page of cups. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading, Taurus. I just want to say thank you to everyone who ordered a private reading. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys are going through. Because like I said, there was like six different stories within this one reading, which normally doesn't happen. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on Instant Go, so if you have a question that you want to get an answer to, you can reach out to me there, and I will see you guys next month. Bye.